Hi everyone, it's Denise with Wonder Bar Crafts. I am here today to um, show you guys the new digital. Um, it's not a full like digital, It's they are uh, the fabric lace cards. Um, you kind of got a little sneaky peek at them on one of my previous videos. Um, but what I want to do is show you guys how to use the, um, the Cricut to print and cut using um, this, uh, I call it romantically eclectic <laughs> fabric and lace cards, okay? Um, if, because if you're, if you like using your Cricut, um, just because you like using it, because you have it, that's awesome. I actually hummed and hawed over which one I wanted to get. I ended up getting the Cricut, um, and it's taken me some time to kind of figure it out because, uh, you know, there's some, there's some areas that, you know, you kind of got to play with and, and figure it out. So I thought I would show you guys how to put these in so that um, they come out the size they're supposed to the right way. Um, I like my Cricut because I don't have to fussy cut. But like I said, it's taken me some time because if you have a Cricut, you may have found that if other kits have offered uh, PNG or JPEG style or even uh, SVG cut files, when you plug them into the workspace, they're huge sometimes. Uh, sometimes they're right and sometimes they're not. Um, and I've done a lot of looking around to try and figure out why does it do that. It has to do with Cricut's workspace. Don't know why it does it. I don't think they know why it does it or how to correct it. So you have to correct it yourself. So I'm going to show you how that is done. Um, so that you can use this with if you have a Cricut. Now I have a Cricut Air Explore 2, but you can use it on the Maker or any of the Cricuts actually, so long as it's covered under the workspace. This kit has um, two cards, so you can actually, they actually come, so you can actually print them and cut them out yourselves if you like, if you don't have a Cricut, and that's, and that's fine too. And then there are four, um, I printed them out twice so that you could see the backgrounds. I put four backgrounds on there so you'd have some choice on. Um, so when you cut them or eat, cut them out either with the Cricut or by hand, you would have a background on them. Okay, so there are four in there. And then there are 16 cards for red, for purple, for pink and for gray. All right, so what I want to do is uh, we're going to kind of go back and forth between the workstation in front of the Cricut machine and also the computer so I can show you workspace and how to, how to do that um, to cut them. I'm going to show you two methods. Method that's very simple. You can just plug uh, four to a sheet um, and or you can actually uh, do some manipulation to do five to a sheet I would suggest doing that only if you're going to print multiple of any one particular card that you like. Um, if you're going to do like four, I would say if you're going to print them all out, do the four red, the four purple, the four pink, and the four uh, gray. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to set this off to the side because what, you'll, what you're going to want to do first is print the background you want. On the back of your cards. Then you're going to want to go ahead and um, uh, turn on your Cricut, open it up, and get it ready to go. Um, I've already done that. Mine is a little noisy when it starts up, um, so I went ahead and did it. Uh, it's not so, it is a little noisy, and you may hear me talk a little bit, and then I may mute while it's cutting so that you don't hear the loud noise because I don't want to blow you guys' eardrums out. And then, of course, you're going to need a cutting mat. Um, just as a suggestion, I always put a little sticker on the front so I know which side. Because, you know, when you handle these, you get oil and dirt and stuff like that and dust on them. And then, so I put a sticker on knowing that this is on the outside. So then this part goes to the sticky part and it resticks. And normally when I'm using a double-sided um, uh, paper, I use an older mat. Um, I found out the hard way, as you can see, some of the ink does transfer onto the sticky part. Um, it, so I keep my older ones. Sometimes you can just tape them down and use them that way. That way they don't transfer. If you have newer mats, 
you may get some ink transfer onto your mat. So just be careful when you do that. All right, so let me go ahead and move on over to the computer. And so we can open up our Cricut workspace. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to open our Cricut Design Space program and open the window all the way here. And now what we want to do is you can either come up here in the upper right hand corner and hit new project or you should have under here where it says my projects create a new project. So you can click in either space. Um, on our left hand menu bar okay you've got a couple different options here new templates projects images text shapes and upload we want to we want to select upload and we want to upload our images now from here you can upload all 16 if you plan on on printing all 16 or you could do four at a time or however um, I have uh, two of the reds only uploaded yet because I wanted to show you how to upload those so what I want to do is go back down and hit where it says image upload image now you can drag and drop if you already have your file folder open you can drag and drop the file here or you can browse for it and what I'm going to do is find my red cards and I believe I need the red card one I'm going to open it then I'm gonna select complex complex allows all these little fine details and all the blended colors and everything on that graphic to be there if you were just simply going to do just an, like an outline and you weren't you know worried about any of the graphics you could hit simple or moderately complex but we want it to be complex because we want everything to print and we want it to cut come down here to the right hand side and hit continue now on this window it's the select and erase um, these are PNG files they do not have a white background if you had a JPEG file you could simply click your select and erase and click the white and it should erase the back the white background from there but we need, don't need to do anything from here we just hit the continue button alright so it gives us two options we can save as a print then cut image or we can save as a cut image we want to print then cut okay and then in here you can add your tags so um, I always suggest using tags um, that way you can easily find them especially if you start using it more and more and you have a lot of graphics so I'm gonna put in here red uh, red roses um, fabric card lace card because it can be used for either right make sure you use commas even after the last one and hit save so now this should upload here okay let's hit view all it's still probably uploading here here it goes okay so now we need one more the other red so I'm gonna go back to upload one more time to show you browse and I need this red card red card 3 I'm going to select complex and continue I do not need to do anything here so I'm going to click continue again I need to save it as a print then cut image I'm gonna add any tags I want to red uh, polka dots, clock, butterfly, uh, fabric card, lace card, and hit save. And you can you can put any tags you want or no tags at all. It's totally up to you. So now I have all my. If I look at my images. I now have all of my reds, all my pinks, my grays, and my purples selected. So let's go ahead and um, take, let's see, I want to view all again. Um, let's do, let's do the pinks, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to select all my pink cards so I just do that by clicking my first one hit my control button 
or I'm sorry, my shift button, shift and click on all the pink ones that I want to print and cut. So down here you'll see, okay, I have selected, there are actually five, I don't want that one, so I'm gonna click X, and I'm going to insert those images onto my workspace. Now, this is where Cricut gets a little sticky and they've manipulated my graphic because my graphic is not 7.34 inches tall. It is not. If it was, it would not print correctly when you printed it to, to physically print and cut. All right, so this is where they have kind of manipulated and uh, who knows why. I don't know. I, I just wish that they would um, fix it. <laughs> So we have to manually fix it, and it's a very simple fix. Don't be afraid. You're not going to screw anything up. You have your original, um, you always have your original PNG files, okay? So even if you screwed up here, you can always go in and delete it and re-upload later. So what we are going to do is we're going to resize all of these. We cannot do it all at once. If you do, it selects all and then it tries to group them together and, and you'll be way off. So you have to do them one at a time. So up here on the top uh, menu bar, the ribbon up here, you'll see that you've got some different selections. We wanna find size, and this is our width and our height. Currently, it is locked. We want to unlock that, and then we wanna change our width back to the original size, which if you, if you ever forget, in that download, there is a, a, um, a, a PDF file that gives you step-by-step -step instructions and it does give all the measurements in it. So you'll always have that in case you forget. Okay, so our width, we need it to be 2.31 uh, and our height to be 3.5, hit enter relock that size because we don't want it to go anywhere. We go to over here onto our layers banner over here or our layers window on our right hand side and we select our, our the second card down and do the same thing. Unlock it. We want 2.31. Our height is 3.5. Hit enter and relock it. Once again, go back down to the third card, back up to the size and unlock 2.31, height 3.5. Lock it and go to our last card, unlock, width is 2.31 and once again, height is 3.5. Lock it and now we have all four of them at the correct size they need to be to print them. Now, you can leave them just like that and they will make it do whatever. I personally prefer to kind of move them up into the corner a little bit. So I go back over to my layers, I hit my shift key and I select all four and then I just pick it up and just with my mouse move it, release the cursor and it's up in the corner. Easy as that. So let's save this so that we have it and you can put it, uh, you can save your project, any name you want, uh, pink lace cards. We'll just call that pink lace cards and save. Now it's saved. All of our dimensions, everything is in there in your projects under pink lace cards. Now we want to make it. So up here in our upper right hand corner, there's a green button that says make it. So now what it's going to do, it's going to take all four of these lace cards and put it in a black box. This is so that the machine can scan where that box is and know where to cut. Now you ask, there's a plenty of open space, why aren't you putting more in there? Well Cricut <laughs> only allows the, the um, workspace to be 9.25 inches wide or uh, long by 6.75. So 
we wouldn't be able, if we fit a third one in here, it would take it almost to the eight inch mark. So even if we scrunched them over as far as we can, I am going to show you a way that you can manipulate it to put a max of five in here. But if you are going to print um, like four and four and four, so the four red, the four gray, the four pink, and you don't want to have to deal with trying to move it into position, this is the easiest way to do it, is to just print four at a time. Even though our page is eight and a half by 11, you are going to have some excess off of it. And I always, when I take it off, I cut these, this portion down and keep it in my scrap basket to use for later. Okay, so now we're ready to, um, and, and if you wanted multiple of these, you would tell it how many project copies you would want to make. And it will, it will, so if I do two, it will apply. It'll have two different prints and two different cuts. But I don't want to do that. I only want one. And I'm going to come down here to my right hand side down at the bottom and hit the green continue button. Okay. So now it's, it's connecting my machine via Bluetooth. And I'm going to send this to my printer. It will pick up your printer if it is on Wi-Fi or if it's directly connected to your computer. You only need one copy unless you're doing multiples. Make sure your add bleed is on. If you take this off, there may be a chance that if you lay that on the pad just off a smidgen, it will have a white, it will cut into the white portion of the cardstock and you'll have a white edge. So we want to add that bleed there. And if you look at the informational, uh, the little eye icon, it says bleed extends ink slightly beyond the border of the image to eliminate a white margin once the image is cut. Okay. And I have, I have done these on, I've done like four or five sets of them and they're coming out just great. So now I'm going to go ahead and print this. I've already got my backgrounds uh, printed and put back in into the computer or back into the printer so that it will print the other end. All right. And now it's printing. So now we're going to need to move back over to uh, the camera in front of the Cricut. Okay, so what we need to do now is take our, we need to prep it to go into the machine. We're going to take off our sticky down there. And then we're going to lay this onto the pad. And you want to try and get this as close as possible to that line so that it will cut it as evenly as possible. Okay. All right, so now we're ready to go and put it over in into our Cricut machine. So let me move the camera over. Okay, so now I've got it ready. I'm going to feed it. And if you've used your Cricut, you know how to do this. But for any of you who are new or are curious how it works, um, so we're going to slide it into the grooves and right up to the roller. Then we're going to hit, there's an up and down button here flashing. And it is ready. My on off button has turned blue. So it is Bluetooth. And my little Cricut button is flashing. If you see it here, it's telling me it's ready to cut. So let me go ahead and start and show you what it does. So as you can see, there's a little light and it's what it's doing is it's measuring where that black line is so it knows exactly where to cut. You'll also notice on your screen that your workstation is also, when it begins to cut, it's going to tell you at what stage it is at, like 25%, 50 75 and and when it's almost done. So now that it's going to cut, I'm going to go ahead and turn the mic off.
Now, as you can see, it's all done cutting. My little up and down arrow is, is flashing. I'm going to click it so it releases it. And then we're going to move over, back over to the other workstation. All right, so now all we need to do is, and the nice thing about having an older pad is this will peel up very, very easy. And then I can just cut this negative portion off and then I still have some um, scrapbooking paper. Um, still pretty sticky. I have found that sometimes they'll pop right off and other times they do not. Um, you can use this on an edge of a table and just kind of get it to pop up a little bit. If you use your spatula like this, sometimes you're going to get creases, if, especially if it's a very sticky pad. I found, turn it upside down, and it pops right off. I mean, I'd still be cutting <laughs> at this point. So. It popped up. So I pop right up, and I can pop it right off. So now I have four lace cards. They, and as you can see, they're all cut. Perfect. Same size. Same way. No white edges. Okay. So that's that. And, we'll, and I stuck it back on the sticky. Now what we need to do is finish up. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, being able to do this on the workstation and put five of them on there. Uh, if we have time, I'll show you what it looks like printed. If not, you'll you kind of get the idea with the same steps that you'll use to use the Cricut. So let me move back over to the computer. All right, when you come back into your workspace, I accidentally clicked it too quickly, <laughs> but I went ahead and clicked the finish. There'll be a little green finish button and then your project will be there. Just click the new project. All right, um, and it will be an untitled project. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do five different lace cards instead of four. Um, you can pick and choose. You can use all red and a pink or whatever you want. Or you could actually, um, I, I will tell you briefly how to do it, but it's not in the instructions, but you could make five of the same card. You just by duplicating that one. So let's go ahead and go to our uploads um let's select some gray here um let's do oh let's see let's do this gray it's three four um five one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's five images. I've selected and inserted all five in here. Okay, so if I wanted to, let's just say, let me just move this one over and we'll forget about these four just for a second. If I wanted to make five of these, I could just simply highlight this and hit duplicate and it will create another one and then you would just go down and resize them from there okay but we don't need that one so we've got five and what we are going to need to do is go down and resize them and then we're going to ro and rotate some and position some so <laughs> this step is a little more advanced um, but if you follow the instructions like I said all of the positions and sizes are written down for you in that PDF file so let's go to the first one. We're going to unlock and resize to 2.31 and our height 3.5. We're going to lock it. We are not going to rotate this one. However, we are going to put it in a position, okay, up here where we've got an X and a Y. We're going to place that one at point zero or point two five which is at a quarter of an inch, and then our Y at 0.25, and hit enter. It will move it all the way up there for us, okay? So we don't have to sit here and drag and drop and move it. I've already done that for you, and 
wrote down all the positions so it'll be much easier for you. So let's go to our next one. We're going to unlock, resize it, 2.31. Height is 3.5. Lock it. This one we're going to position at, our X is at a quarter of an inch, and our Y is at uh, 4.014. So that's about four inches and a little more than uh, an, a little, I think it's a little more than an eighth. Hit enter and it will position it right below that one. Same thing with the third one. Okay, let's resize it. Lock it. Now this one, we are going to rotate it 90 degrees. So we want to put a nine in front of that zero. It's very simple. Hit enter, it will turn it. And then our position will be at 2.752. So about uh, two and three, about two and three quarters of an inch over on this on the um, on the board here. And then um, at zero point, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 0.25 and hit enter. So then it's aligned at the top with this one. Go down to our next one, same thing, resize it. Also rotate this one 90 degrees. Enter. And this one's position will be at, um, our X will be the same all the way down, 2.752. And then our Y on this one will be at 2.762, hit enter. And then down to our last card, our fifth card. And once again, and rotate it 90 degrees, hit enter. And this one at 0.752 and our Y on this one will be at 5.276 and like I said the PDF file does give does list all of these on here okay what happened oh okay I didn't hit enter <laughs> okay 2.752 and 5.276 Enter. There we go. All right, so we've hit five. Now I just want to show you something. If I click right now and do make it, it's still only going to put four car, four lace cards, and then it's going to make you print an excess. So how do we bypass that? What we need to do is group it together and combine them to trick the workspace into thinking it's one big graphic and that you're cutting individual pieces out of it. Okay, so to do that, we're going to have to we're going to have to add a little shape up here, which is an anchor point. So we're going to hit shapes. We're going to hit square. All right. And you can just get back out of the move that back over by clicking on shapes again. It's a pretty big square. So what we need to do is resize it. And we want that square to be at. Um, 0.125, which is uh, an eighth of an inch, 0.125 on the height. Okay, so we've got it locked. And then I want to put it in uh, way up in the upper corner up there by as close as I can to the zero, zero. So I'm going to put my X at zero, uh, 0.05 and my Y at the same, 0 0.05, and hit enter. It is gonna put it way up here where these zeros are. So now what we needed to do is combine everything so that it thinks that it's um, all being cut together. And so we are going to move over to our right-hand side to the layers window, well, layers panel, and we're gonna click all six. 
So just hold your shift down and use your mouse to click each segment, so all six, and then group them. So now your blue bar has grouped everything together. And then down at the bottom of that layers window on the, on the right hand side, there is a uh, little paper clip that says attach. So now they're attached together. So it's tricking the map, the computer or the workspace into thinking this is one big graphic that fits within that window of that six and a 6.75 by nine and a quarter um, or thereabouts into thinking this is one big graphic and we're just going to cut all these little individual pieces, <laughs> right? Why doesn't it do that automatically? I don't know. I wish Cricut would fix it, but until they do, this is a, a kind of a workaround that you can do. Now we can go over and make it. And as you can see, all five are there. So uh, let me see, do I, am I going to have enough time? I'll go ahead and do it. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you, let me go through and send it to the printer. I am going to let this portion run um, just so you can see what the window looks like and what you should be looking, uh, seeing while it's, while I'm printing and putting everything uh, and printing it out. And then I'll show you at the end what it does. So now it is sending everything to my printer, which you may hear in the background. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to, let me go ahead and just show you guys, okay? Okay, so we're back over on our workspace, and as you can see, it did print all five out. It wasn't fibbing. <laughs> and we're just going to line this up. Sometimes you have to really kind of... Um, you don't want it too out of whack. Here. Try and get it lined up as much as possible. All right, and then I'm going to pause it. I'm going to send it over so you can see that it's actually going over there, and then I'm going to pause it um, until they're all cut out, just so I can show you that um, it does it does cut them out. Okay, so hopefully I don't drop the camera. I have a, just a small little space over here. Make sure that's in there. Stuck on there good. All right, so tuck it up underneath my rollers. My light is flashing. My up and down load light is flashing. Wait for my little cricket to start blinking, and away we go. I'm going to put it on pause while it cuts these. Okay, so it is done printing and so I am, or cutting, sorry. <laughs> and so I'm just going to release it from the machine. And one thing I do want to point out is, remember that little square we put up here? It will, oh, I should show you. This little square, it will cut out here. Not a big deal, it'll just flake right off when you pull up the piece. So let's move over back over to the other workstation. Okay. And just to show you, I'm not going to peel them all off and take up more of your time because you've seen this already. On this one, you'll probably get about this piece you'll get to save. And then here's that little square we added. It just pops right off. See? Not a big deal. But you got five out of it. So let's go back over to the Cricut workspace so I can show you how to finish up. Okay, so once you've done that and you've clicked the green finish button, which I keep jumping ahead and doing, I apologize for that. <laughs> it's pretty obvious once once it's cut, if you've used it before, it's got the little finish button and you just it comes back to its original and what I was trying to show you, and I didn't have my mic on, so you weren't even hearing anything I had to say. Um, you can simply do the same thing with the five 
So let's say, for instance, I just wanted to cut this red one. I could insert, like I said, the best and fastest way to do this is to resize it, 2.31, 3.5, lock it and duplicate it. One, two, so there's two, three, four, five. And then from here, this is where you would rotate if you needed to and reset the positions, okay? So you could do five like ones. Like I said, if you try and do them, um, so say for instance, I, mm, just put my shape in here. Uh, let's, and I'm just trying to show you. Uh, point two five. I need this at zero one two five. Oh, I am just. Uh, <laughs> Too many numbers. Okay. And then I, I set this position at five. Oh, I think it was. Point five, yeah. Point oh five. And then I took all uh, five of these and move them up here like that and then grouped it and attached it and made it this is what's gonna happen it's gonna just cut like this <laughs> we don't want that so that's why it's important that you um, space them out okay um, and like I said the PDF file that comes with the kit gives all the dimensions so if you just follow it step by step or follow along with the video you should be fine so um that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope it was helpful um like i said you can um email me wonderbarcrafts at gmail.com or you can get a message me through Etsy if you have any further questions um, or even comment on this video. And I will try and answer as many as I can and help you out if you're stuck or struggling with it. But once once you've done it a couple times, it becomes really easy and you kind of understand that you got to kind of shrink some of those uh, PNG files or even those cut files um, if you've been struggling with that and try not able to figure it out. Hopefully this will help you with that. So anyways, guys, until next time, plenty of hugs, loves, and blessings. Mwah. Love y'all.